guys, I'm bringing you a video today about my Moto vlogging helmet setup because I've had a few requests from some of my subscribers as to how I get such good audio and the parts that I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what parts I use and then I'm going to break it all down and show you just how it's all rigged up. Hopefully that will answer some of your questions. So firstly I use a AGV K3 helmet. Uh, to mount everything on I use the GoPro sticky curved mounts. I've got one on the top and one on the side. I normally use the one on the side to be honest. Not a big fan of the one on the top. Secondly I use a GoPro Hero 4 Silver that records in really good quality everything I need there the great thing about the, the Hero 4 Silver is it records right up to 4k obviously 1080 all that stuff but also it's got really good uh, wide view so basically it looks there like it's facing quite far out but it's not, it captures absolutely everything in the image Here's some of the adhesive 3M rated uh, curved mounts that I use. They've got the uh, 3M rated sticky pads that you stick on there. Um, they're really good for people who want a sticky helmet. <laughs> so I'll start breaking this down for you. The GoPro is on here with some sort of arm that I rigged together. I think it's a mixture of different arms that I've bought. Uh, ones that you get with it and things that I bought for a few handles for my diving as well so it's just something that I've rigged together myself and I suppose you just got to find your ideal position that you that you want to use just trial and error really um, so with my microphone this is obviously the 3.5 millimeter GoPro jack adapter cable it's quite cheap online I use the official GoPro one. Some people actually make their own, but I quite like the GoPro one. Some people say they break and bend, but mine's lasted quite well. So my Sony microphone plugs into that. That then goes into the port on the GoPro. So that's that, tick. Uh, obviously I've told you I use the GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition. And I also use the Skeleton Case which the GoPro goes into, that gives you access to these ports and I use a skeleton back door for the touch screen as well so, take that out of there, they're fairly cheap online these skeleton housings if you want to see the quality that this produces just click on any of my other videos most of them, any of the ones I'm remote vlogging with always used this, great little piece of kit that tick so I've told you about the arm the sticky pad my microphone there's lots of different ways to do this you just have to figure it out yourself it's all a bit of a bodge up however you choose to do it but basically that obviously goes up there and plugs in I then run it in the side of the helmet here all you do is pull your liner out on the AGV, just literally unclip it, pull it out. I reel everything up on the inside and tuck it above the strap so it's quite well tucked in there. You can't really get out. Then the cable runs along the front. Sometimes I use this wind deflector panel, but I've made a little piece of sticky tape there which I can clip my hang on, camera strap going in the way. <laughs> I can clip the, by the way that's the Sony, ECM3 I think is the code, omnidirectional external microphone. People have asked me how my quality is so good. Well, this little stereo microphone knocks the socks out of anything else I've used. I did buy a couple of other ones and they were rubbish when I was testing them. But this thing's really good. So yeah, I just clip that on there. Actually the other way up. Like that. Sometimes I'll put this panel in here, which keeps the wind off it. And that is it. That just sits on the inside there. 
my cable runs up through the cheek pad, up through here. I normally tie it around this so that it doesn't flap around, up into the GoPro, and that's how I get such good audio. So again, that's the Sony ECM CS3, little codes on there, in the back there. I think it was £19 off eBay, so it's not going to break the bank that one, but yeah, great little microphone. So occasionally I'll use the GoPro suction cup, that's quite a good bit of kit, I use it on the front of the bike sometimes. You'll see on a couple of my first videos with the bike, that's what I was using. Um, yeah, it seems to be a good bit of kit, push it on, press the button, flip this piece here up on the laminate floor and seems to stick and I think it's rated to some silly mile an hour like I don't know 120 mile an hour something like that never had any problems with it seems to stick on really well add that to the list yeah um, something I forgot when you're using the side mount I don't really feel much in the way of sort of drag from the wind I think it works really well the top one you can feel us on there it doesn't work quite so well so I'd advise using the the side mounts although I would probably go with the right hand side which I might do at some point later if I can peel this one off and stick it over there I just think it makes your cable a little tidier because if you use it on the left the cable comes out of this side of the GoPro and kind of gets in the way a little bit but you can make your cable a lot neater just coming up the side of the helmet and straight in if you use the right hand side of the helmet for my video editing I'll use a MacBook Pro with iMovie which comes standard with the MacBook Pro um, seems to be a really good bit of kit I've made quite a lot of videos on it now, it makes things really simple really easy, but it's got a lot of the features of its older brother um, Final Cut Pro which I will be upgrading to soon I think it's a couple of hundred pounds in the UK on the App Store so it's, it's not cheap but it's got a lot of the features that iMovie hasn't got so I will be upgrading to that at some point and if you can afford to that is going to be a better option but the MacBook is fantastic much better than PC for editing uh, makes things really easy so the last thing in my setup is the Sony HX20V it's quite an old camera now but it's got 20 times zoom uh, it does all the things that I want it to do it's got really good HD video quality and I'll use this camera when I'm not using my GoPro, so anything off the bike, including this video, I'll always use the Sony. It's a nice little camera, does everything I want it to do. Thanks for watching my videos. Like and subscribe, I hope this has answered some of your questions. And yeah, see you next time, ride safe.